Here we go. These free AI image editors are dangerous. If you're a bad person, please don't watch this video. But before you go, leave a comment to let me know you're a bad person. With these free AI tools, anyone even your grandma can edit photos or images into anything they want with just a text command or a few easy steps. So if you're a good person, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and let's get started. Tool one, Grok 3 Image Editor. First, log into your X account and open Grok. Click the edit image button and select your image or photo. Now you can ask Grok 3 to edit your photo by simply typing your command in the prompt bar and clicking the send button. Test one, add object. In this test, I asked Grok 3 to edit a photo. Now let's ask Grok 3 to make her wear a cowboy hat. Here is the before and after using the Grok 3 image editor. The processing time is very fast, but instead of editing my photo, Grok generates a new one. Test two, change text. Okay, now let's do another test. This time I will ask Grok to edit text from a photo. Let's ask Grok to change the name on this photo. Grok 3 failed to understand my first prompt, even after retrying several times. Now, let's try another prompt. This time, I will ask Grok 3 to change the text instead of asking it to change a name. And again, after several attempts, Grok 3 still failed this task. So, let's move to the next test. Test 3. Watermark Remover. Now, let's see how well Grok 3 can remove a watermark from a photo. After some ridiculous results, Grok3 finally gave me an image without watermarks. But still, instead of keeping the original image, Grok generated a new one for me. So, if you want to remove a watermark or add an object to a photo, it seems Grok3 is not a good choice. Test 4. Image Restyler. In this last test, let's ask Grok3 to restyle our image. In this example, let's ask Grok to convert our image into an anime style. And in just one try, Grok3 gave us exactly what we wanted the best test results so far. Now, let's move to the second tool. Tool two, Google Gemini Flash 2. This AI image editor is 100% free. First, go to Google AI Studio. You can find the link in this YouTube video's description. Select Gemini 2 Flash image generation model from the model list. Click the plus button and select upload image to upload your image. Now, let's do the same test with the same image and prompt as we did with Grok 3. Test one. Add object. With the same image input and prompt, here is the before and after using Google Gemini Flash 2 image editor. The processing time is very fast and Gemini keeps the original photo. So this is a plus point for an AI image editor. Test two, change text. Grok 3 failed this test. So now let's see how well Gemini Flash 2 performs. With the same image input and prompt, Gemini Flash 2 also failed to understand my first prompt. Now let's test using the second prompt. And wow, in just one test, Gemini passed. So understanding how to give a good prompt is still an important skill when using the current version of this AI model. Test three, watermark remover. After several retries, Gemini failed to understand my prompt for removing watermarks. Now let's use the word text instead of watermark. And voila, in just one attempt, Gemini Flash 2 gave me exactly what I wanted. Test four, image restyler. Now, let's ask Gemini Flash 2 to convert our image into an anime style. Unfortunately, after testing several prompts, Gemini still didn't understand exactly what I wanted. So, if you figure out how to do it, please share in the comment section so other viewers can learn from your prompt. Thank you. Because Google Gemini Flash 2 is a good AI image editor, I did some additional tests that I want to share with you. Test 5. Remove non-text watermarks. Since Gemini always keeps our original images, I tested it on removing non-text watermarks. Gemini understood and gave me the result in just one attempt. Before we continue, a big thanks to Wondershare Verbo for sponsoring this video. After editing your photos with these AI image editors, you can bring them to life with Verbo's talking photo feature. It's quick and easy. Just create a Wondershare Verbo account. Go to the talking photo menu and click create new photo. Upload your image, then click add motion to animate it. Now you can use your animated photo as an avatar. Simply enter your video script, choose a voiceover style, and hit the Create Video button to generate your talking photo. Here's an example of what you can create with Verbo. This is my talking photo created using Wondershare Verbo. Try Wondershare Verbo now using the link in this video's description. All right, let's get back to our test. Test six, change color. In this test, I asked Gemini to change the hair color in a photo. And yes, in just one attempt, I got exactly what I wanted. 
Test 7. Change an object. Now, instead of adding a new object to our photo, let's try replacing an existing one with a new object. And here is the result. Pretty cool, right? Test 8. Combine photos. Gemini is also capable of combining two photos into one. For example, let's upload a person and a dress image and ask Gemini to combine them. I gave Gemini a simple task. Put a red dress on the model, and it did an amazing job. Tool 3. OpenAI ChatGPT Image Editor. OpenAI ChatGPT has improved its image generation capabilities. It also has the ability to edit images, but it's heavily censored. ChatGPT refused to edit my sample images, so I won't show you the detailed test as it would be a waste of time. But if you just want to restyle your photo, it does a decent job. Tool 4. Titan Version. Titan Version SDXL lets you edit images while keeping them realistic. This AI image editor is 100% free. First, go to the Titan Version Hugging Face page. You can find the link in this YouTube video's description. Upload your image. Then, describe the first image in the source prompt. After that, explain what kind of edit you want in the edit prompt bar. The IPA scale balances faithfulness and editability. Lower values keep the original image, while higher values allow more changes. The guidance scale controls how strongly the AI follows your edits. Higher values mean bigger changes. The sharpening factor makes edits more focused on specific areas instead of the whole image. Using the source prompt as a negative prompt helps remove or modify elements from the original image. Click Submit to start generating your AI image. Here's a before and after AI edit using this tool. Tool 5. Code Former. The next 100% free AI image editor is Codeformer. Codeformer is an AI tool for restoring and enhancing faces and images. First, go to the Codeformer Hugging Face page. You can find the link in this YouTube video's description. Upload the photo you want to restore. Here's what each setting does. Preface Align ensures faces are properly positioned before enhancement. Background Enhance improves the image background while keeping the face restoration focused. Face Up Sample increases the resolution of the face for a sharper look. Rescaling factor lets you enlarge the entire image up to four times its original size. Codeformer Fidelity controls the balance between quality and identity zero gives better image quality, while one keeps the face closer to the original. Here is a before and after AI edit using this tool. Tool 6. Segmind. Segmind is an AI-powered platform for image generation, editing, and enhancement. This is not 100% free, but you can get some free credits. First, go to the Segmind website. You can find the link in this YouTube video's description. Create a free account to get free credits. After logging in, go to the Model Hub menu. This time, we will test the AI Face Swap tool. Click on the Segmind Face Swap option. First, upload your target image. Next, upload the reference image you want to use. Adjust the parameters. There are two face swap modes, face mode and head mode. Here are the results from both modes. Thank you for watching this 100% free AI image editor tutorial and test. Let me know in the comment section what kind of video you want me to create. Don't forget to visit my channel for more AI videos. See you there!